Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be discussing about some of the important advantages of the five kingdom classification that was performed by the famous scientist R. H. Whittaker. So let us see what are the advantages of the five kingdom classification system. Now the first important point is the separation of prokaryotes. Separation of prokaryotes from the eukaryotic organism was a very important factor that was considered in this five kingdom classification which was initially not considered because prokaryotes we know they have got structures, their organization and their uh, formation is very much different than those of the eukaryotic cells. So the separation of prokaryotes from the other group of eukaryotic organism was a very important step in this five kingdom classification system. Now the kingdom protesta which actually un includes unicellular eukaryotic organisms this was important because many of the transitional and the intermediate forms were included in this group called protesta. Now before this group of classification the all the unicellular organisms of plants and animals were included together. Now they have got certain physiological characteristics which are quite different from that of, that of the plants and the animal kingdoms. So the separation of this protista group was very important because it includes the unicellular eukaryotic organisms which have got different characteristics that compared to that of the multicellular eukaryotic organisms. Now another very important characteristics which was performed or taken care in this case of five kingdom classification was the separation of fungi into a separate group. Initially fungi group was included in the plant kingdom but fungi has a lot of difference than those of the plant cells or the plant kingdom. A very basic difference was that even uh, fungi has got the cell wall but their cell wall composition was very much different than those of the plant kingdom. In addition to that the biological the morphological characteristics of the kingdom fungi was also very much different than that of other eukaryotic organisms and specifically than that of the plants. So separation of fungi into a separate group was a very important property of this five kingdom classification system. Animals and plant kingdom here in this five kingdom classification are more homogeneous which was not initially followed in case of the two kingdom system of classification. Now this five kingdom system of classification successfully indicated the, uh, the process of evolution how from the unicellular prokaryotic organisms these type of multiple multicellular complex eukaryotic organisms have evolved. So five kingdom classification have considered the evolution of the species. So in this video we have talked about some of the important advantages of the five kingdom classification system. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.